let's talk about the art of giving and receiving feedback so uh, let's start with what is feedback uh, feedback is a, a feedback conversation is a conversation where you're having with these two specific goals in mind. So it's a, either if your goal is to talk to the individual, to strengthen their confidence about uh, uh, what they do and how they do it, or if you want to talk to the individual to strengthen, uh, to, to increase their effectiveness about how they go about doing something. Uh, uh, that's, uh, that's what a feedback conversation is. Uh, it is a conversation to, for these two purposes and for the benefit of the receiver. Uh, sometimes the, the best way to understand what something is, is to, is to contrast check with what something is not. And, and what feedback is not is, is all of these things. It's not a discussion about a particular individual with, with others. For example, a lot of times people come up to me and, and share some input about someone uh, to me and and then they say I've given that I've given feedback, but that's not feedback. You've not given that feedback to that individual. It's not helping that individual get improve their confidence or increase their effectiveness. It's not setting expectations. Uh, it's also not escalations. Uh, it's not passing judgments and it's not complaints that you may have. And while all of these might be relevant and important at times to to pass on as messages, uh, know that this is not feedback. Right. Next, we want to talk about uh, the uh, different aspects uh, around feedback. So I think it's useful to think of uh, feedback as a skill and you want to get good at that skill, both while, you know, for receiving feedback as well as for giving feedback. So. While receiving feedback, I think it's first useful to talk about when to ask for feedback and how to ask for feedback. Um, so when do you want to ask for feedback? Well, you want to do it frequently. Um, and you have to pick you know, the right frequency, uh, frequency for you and, and your work and, and for your team. Um, um, but, uh, but one of the ways to think about uh, when to ask for feedback is to think of uh, interesting events uh, that happens. So let's say, you know, I've, I've delivered a presentation on a new topic or, or, or in a new format, that would be a good trigger for me to ask for feedback uh, from my audience. Uh, might be that uh, that you and me, Dubinsky, have, have worked together on a, on a, on a piece of uh, on a piece of code or to, to deliver a story. And so as soon as that is done, we've worked together for two, three days, it might be the right time to good time to ask for feedback so ask for feedback frequently uh, now let's talk about who to ask feedback well you want to ask feedback from people you work closely with uh, you also want to ensure that you have uh, a diverse set of uh, opinions on 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 particular aspects that you're looking for feedback on so you want to get feedback across different roles get feedback from people across different experience ranges uh, and get that diverse set uh, of input for yourself uh, on that particular aspect. Let's talk about what to ask for uh, feedback on. So think about the areas that you want to improve on. Uh, so if you're clear about what you want to improve on uh, over the next few months, you can keep that in mind and ask uh, feedback specifically on interesting events around that area. Uh, and also it helps uh, uh, the givers of feedback a lot if you are able to ask uh, specific questions and, and get them to reflect on specific aspects of uh, or around the areas that you want to improve on. So the, the more specific you can make your questions, the easier it becomes for the other person to, uh, to both notice uh, uh, aspects and, and also then to give you feedback on those aspects. That's true. There's um, so many times I get inputs, uh, mails, blanket mails saying, hey, it's review time and I need some feedback from you. Uh, I've, I haven't interacted with the person in the last couple of months and they want some feedback uh, of, of a time we've worked together six months ago and it's, it's not helpful for that individual and I struggle to uh, find meaningful ways to give feedback so it, it definitely helps if, if the person is intentional about what those areas are and if they ask 
feedback closer to that event so that I can give them the most relevant feedback that helps them. Cool. Uh, so then let's talk about the uh, art of receiving feedback. Uh, and it's only recently that I've come across a book by uh, Sheila. Sheila Hin. Sheila Hin. Uh, and, and a video uh, on uh, where she introduces this. Um, and I found it interesting that, that she says that uh, a lot of effort has gone into uh, to help people become good at giving feedback. And maybe instead we should spend more effort in helping people uh, learn how to receive feedback more uh, better. And I think it's interesting because, you know, selfishly, I think you, you cannot be sure of who you'd be surrounded with and what would be their levels of, uh, of effectiveness when it comes to giving feedback. If I can control, you know, if I can get better at receiving feedback, then, uh, then I can go grow. Uh, myself uh, more, more, uh, more in a more structured way. So she talks about um, and, and, and that as a, as a skill and I think that's that's interesting. Um, so let's talk about what are, what is it that you can do uh, to start with to start being more effective in receiving feedback. The first is the mindset. Yeah, so it's really about remembering the goals of feedback. Remember that uh, the person who's giving you feedback is really giving you feedback for your benefit to strengthen your confidence or to increase your effectiveness. So keep that in mind while you're receiving feedback. Always assume positive intent from the giver of, of feedback. Uh, try to be open. Don't get defensive. Uh, it gets it could get hard. I know for some people when when somebody is giving you feedback and questioning, uh, giving you feedback that is intended to improve your effectiveness. Uh, stay curious uh, and be open to, to hearing and really getting the most out of what the giver is intending. Yeah, and again, you know, it, it could be that uh, it could get hard for, for different reasons to, to receive feedback, but, uh, but that's when it helps to just remember the uh, remember the goals and and keep this positive impact in, intent that the fact that somebody is caring to give you feedback itself means that they care about your growth and they they believe that you can grow and and change and improve and so you know i use that to to remind myself and help myself uh, open up more uh, in my mind um a way to think about feedback is really to, to use this metaphor uh, that uh, that consider feedback like a gift. Uh, so, so being thankful that somebody is giving you a gift uh, and treat it with that care. Um, uh, think about while receiving feedback uh, and in that conversation, you want to practice active listening. So you want to pay attention to what the other person is saying. You want to suspend your own thoughts and judgments and judgments either about yourself or about the other person or about you know somebody else uh, or comparisons you know with, with others etc you want to suspend all of that instead just pay attention to what the giver is trying to convey uh, you also want to ask for clarifications you want to ask uh, uh, deeper questions to to understand uh, it better uh, you want to listen beyond what the person is saying. So you want to tune in into how the person is feeling and, and what is the tone they are they are applying and and so on to see if you are hearing uh, if what they're can. actually trying to convey. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of times, um, if you really pay attention to body language, you'll you'll notice that, uh, especially when it's about improving effective effectiveness, people find it hard to convey feedback, and they might. Uh, touch upon a particular aspect on the surface, but if you if you're really uh, actively listening and uh, and then if you if you dig deeper and ask the right questions, you'll really get to the meat where you'll find something actionable for yourself to get better and to improve on a particular aspect. Right. And and finally, uh, you know, uh, during the conversation, paraphrase and and clarify uh, what you've understood, summarize what you've understood, what you heard so that you don't leave it to chance that uh, and you close the communication loop. 
um, once you've you know processed or, or heard what the other person is saying, uh, remember to say thank you. It's a gift. It's a, say thanks for uh, for receiving that gift. Uh, but then uh, I think it's important to uh, to continue the gift metaphor forward and and know that uh, it's up to the giver to give you that, but it's up to you to make use of it in whichever way you think is appropriate. So, but so it's useful to really stop and introspect and you know in your own time process uh, what you've heard uh, and reflect on it yourself and sometimes you know, uh, you, know you you might find that uh, that after some reflection and introspection that you disagree uh, with uh, with this input on the, with this point of view and if that's the case uh, you could you could drop it and not uh, do anything about it, but where appropriate, you know, then take action and uh, and improve effectiveness or continue to do what you're doing that is helping you do well. The next one is about giving gifts, so giving feedback uh, to people that you care for. Uh, so again, remember the goals of feedback. You're really doing it for the benefit of the person you're giving feedback to, for two reasons and two reasons only to strengthen their confidence or to improve their effectiveness. And uh, effective feedback, feedback is only effective when uh, it's specific. Uh, it helps that, uh, that you can help the individual go back to a particular point in time uh, with uh, being specific about a specific particular event or a particular uh, behavior. So the more specific you can make it, uh, the easier it becomes to to process it uh, for the receiver. Uh, feedback is also effective uh, when it's delivered earlier rather than later. So, uh, so instead of waiting for something to occur multiple times and then you know I giving feedback, it's better that uh, that I I do it as soon as I notice uh, something interesting, either something done well or something that uh, that I think can be done better. Um, the other thing about uh, giving feedback earlier is that uh, it's easier to be specific mm -hmm. when you're talking about something that just happened instead of talking about something that happened happened months ago. It's also easier to receive uh, for a similar reason because memories are fresh at that time. Of course, you want to seek permission before you give feedback, and it's not about you know giving it in the next minute itself and. Uh, but you know, within a few days is, is what we are talking about when we say earlier rather than later. Uh, effective feedback is also one that is focused on behavior uh, and and not focused on uh, on on the person or labeling the person or passing judgments upon the person and so on. Uh, and effective fe feedback is also uh, 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 something that is a two way conversation and not a not, not just a one way. Uh, uh, need to just deliver a message or, or to, or to, and it's not a con confrontation. So uh, here's an example of of a, of a, of a feedback uh, that 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 could be effective. That um, so let's say I want to you know I, I let's say I and Dubinsky have worked together and you know for for a few times and. So I could say, hey, you know, Dubinsky, I find it really hard to work with you, or, or you are very hard to work with. You know, it could be a label like that. It's not going to help. I mean, one, it's likely to become very hard for Dubinsky to not be defensive in any other label, unpleasant label like that. But also, um, it's it's hard to deliver something like that. But instead, if I if I said, hey, you know, Dubinsky, while we were working together yesterday on this on this particular task. Uh, when I was trying to share my ideas multiple times, uh, you, you interrupted me. And uh, so I'm talking about a specific instinct. I'm talking about a behavior that uh, that I observed. Both of these are facts and uh, hard to refute. And then I can say, hey, you know, this is uh, what this did was that it made me feel hurt or or, or feel upset. Now, so again, I'm talking about a feeling that, that I felt and, and that's uh, hard to refute as well. Uh, or alternatively, it could be, you know, about the impact that, that it had. And so, 
Uh, what this this uh, this approach this this formula uh, does uh, while giving feedback is that it makes it uh, it makes it structured and uh, makes it uh, makes it a good starting point. But and from that point onwards, you still want to have make it a conversation. You want to invite. So this is how I perceived it. This is how I felt uh, about it. What is your view? How did you feel about it? How did you look at it? Yeah, and what that does is, is it really opens up uh, the other person as well, creating that safe environment for that person to share their perspective. Sometimes uh, have revelations about themselves, behaviors that they didn't even know they were exhibiting. Um, and and this is a real example um, where uh, Chirag uh, helped me understand uh, my tendency to to interrupt uh, at times because uh, I have a thought and I need to share it there and then. And uh, just because the way he put it across uh, helped me keep a check on that. And uh, another thing that uh, he also did uh, was uh, was invited me to uh, to keep a check on me in the future uh, to to help me uh, help call out uh, when he noticed this behavior in the future. And and over a period of time, I've gotten better at uh, at. Uh, at uh, noticing it for yourself, noticing it for myself, and and avoiding repeating that behavior. Yeah. So uh, so yeah. So if relevant uh, beyond sharing the feedback and and having a conversation about it, uh, suggest an action. Uh, like in this example, uh, you know, a suggestion could be, hey, you know, why don't you carry a, a, a notepad and a pen so that you don't you can write down your your thoughts without feeling like you'll forget it unless you interrupted others uh, to, to, to bring it up right away um, and alternatively offer to help that hey you know maybe I can I can you know be, be your interruption cop yeah. for the next <laughs> week and you know if with me or with others when you do that I'll give you a signal and maybe that helps you uh, helps you check yourself so if relevant you know or do these two steps as well uh, with the permission of the of the receiver so yeah, uh, we invite you to uh, to think about uh, this uh, for yourself and see if uh, if these ideas uh, help you and, and are relevant in your context. And and of course, what would be uh, a video about the art of giving and receiving feedback if we didn't ask for feedback ourselves? So uh, please share your feedback about the content, about the about the delivery, about the medium that we're using. Um, uh, eager to hear back from you. Bye.